Okay, good evening, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this presentation tonight. Um, first of all, thank you all for joining me this evening. Uh, my name is Kristen Schultz, and I am one of the admissions advisors here at SUNY Plattsburgh. And this evening, I'm just gonna be sharing with you some more information on SUNY Plattsburgh and what your time here as a student might look like and kind of what to expect over the next four years at Plattsburgh. Um, so we're gonna get started and uh, dive right in. So SUNY Plattsburgh was founded in 1889, originally as a teaching college. Um, and back then it consisted of only one building, Hawkins Hall, but since then we have grown tremendously. Um, we now boost an undergraduate student body of around 5,200 students with over 60 different majors and minors to choose from. We also have a very diverse student population, including students from 32 different states and 73 different countries. So this presentation is really going to be an opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about what your time at Plattsburgh may look like and hopefully answer those questions you have as you start to make your college decisions. I hope during this presentation you'll be able to envision what it's like to be a student here and kind of get into get a sneak peek into what your time on campus is going to look like. This presentation is really for you. So your journey to Plattsburgh really begins kind of the summer before fall semester begins uh, with summer orientation or new student orientation. This is typically held in the month of July and is organized by student birth month. So if you have an earlier birth month, you'll be at an earlier presentation or orientation date. Um, but I know that summers can also be very hectic and crazy and a lot of things going on. So if you needed to change your orientation date, you can contact the orientation office and they will do their best to kind of accommodate your requests and get you into a different orientation. But at orientation, you're gonna be able to take advantage of a lot of different things and really get to see what your next four years at Plattsburgh are going to look like. You'll have the ability to mingle and meet with other incoming students, your classmates. You'll be able to spend the night on campus. You'll stay, you'll eat in a dining hall. You'll participate in icebreakers and programs to get familiar with the campus and learn more about each other, the people that you're gonna be spending the next four years with. You'll also be provided with your first semester schedule of classes. So that's a huge thing. I know a lot of students are really want their schedules, know what to expect. Um, and so we'll be giving you that over orientation so that you can take the rest of the summer to prepare. I also know that a lot of students um, tend to take AP or college level classes in high school. And so you're gonna wanna make sure that you send those credits into us before you begin um, at Plattsburgh and before orientation so that we can make sure that we have those credits counted for so that you don't get registered for classes you may not need. And just a reminder, um, typically for APs, we take a three or better. And with college courses, we'll take a C or higher. And if you are taking any IB classes, we'll take a six or higher on those. Another great opportunity to take advantage of during orientation is really to get to explore the North Country and the area surrounding Plattsburgh. Um, we are located about one hour from Montreal, Canada and Burlington, Vermont, which are really fun, great destinations to check out and kind of uh, learn a little bit more about. Um, we're also about an hour from Lake Placid, and we have a ton of beautiful hiking trails and lakes that you can explore. So this is a great time if you're coming with your family to kind of maybe make a little trip out of it and not only visit Plattsburgh and get ready for the start of school, but also explore the area that you're going to be spending a lot of your time over the next four years. So after orientation, you're gonna return home for a little bit. And then at the end of August, you will come back to campus for a move in and the start of classes, opening week. Um, about one month prior to the start of school, you receive your residence hall assignment and your roommate. So you'll be able to connect with them and kind of get to know them a little bit before classes begin. Um, and there's a couple different processes that you can do in selecting a roommate. So first of all, if you know somebody that is coming to Plattsburgh as well, perhaps you and a friend are coming together um, or you met somebody at orientation, you can request a roommate um, and request to live with that person. The second way to do it is that you would fill out a housing questionnaire. And this questionnaire is gonna ask um, a bunch of different questions like, are you an early riser? Um, do you stay up late? Are you neat? Are you messy? Do you like loud music? And that's going to allow the housing office to really pair you with somebody who has similar interests and traits so that you guys can be compatible roommates. 
We have 12 different residence halls on campus. Um, three of them are freshmen only, and two of them are actually for upperclassmen. So if I have any transfer students that are listening to this presentation, you may be interested in those upperclassmen housing. Um, but if you're an incoming freshman, you may be interested in one of the three freshman residence halls. Um, and with those residence halls, we actually have themed floors within them. So you can choose to live with other students who maybe share similar interests as you like outdoors or sciences or leadership or so on. Also during opening week, you're gonna meet your community advocate or CA. And this person's gonna be a great resource for you uh, living on campus and kind of becoming familiar with everything that you will be doing and seeing and where you're gonna be going. Um, they're also going to coordinate different events in your residence halls, like game nights or study nights. So you'll be able to participate in these activities and meet other students on your floor and get to know that the people get to know the people that you're living with. They'll also be a great resource for you as you learn to navigate the campus and different things. And as you become familiar with the campus, you may also want to take some time to become more familiar with the city of Plattsburgh. Um, so we have a nice sized city. It's not huge, but we do have a lot of amenities that students can take advantage of. So about a five minute drive uptown from campus is where we have um, several different shopping centers. So we have three different shopping centers and these centers include stores like Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, a grocery store, there's a Planet Fitness. Um, so there's a lot of places that you can go to pick up anything that you may have forgotten uh, to pack before you start your started school. Um, and then there's also several fast food restaurants. So we have a Chipotle and a Panera and Starbucks and Dunkin. Um, so there's a lot of options up there. We also in our mall have a movie theater um, and stores like Old Navy and Kohl's. So definitely local areas to take advantage of and pick up anything that you might have forgotten or need along the way. Um, and then I would definitely recommend that you check, check out our downtown Plattsburgh area, which is about a 10 minute walk from campus. And down here, you're gonna find a lot of our local flavor, a lot of our local restaurants and a lot of our local stores, um, and definitely a great spot to kind of stop and grab a bite to eat. Uh, we have a lot of local restaurants, including Greek, Asian, Italian, um, the super popular Our House Bistro, which offers 27 different flavors of macaroni and cheese. So that's a great option for students as well. Um, and really just kind of maybe having that last dinner with your family before you say goodbye. Okay. So as you begin your first semester, um, students typically will take about five classes a semester at Plattsburgh. So you'll spend your first two years kind of fulfilling your general education requirements in areas like history, math, science, so on. And this is where you'll wanna make sure that we have any of your college credits you might've earned in high school. Um, we'll also do our best to try and ensure that you're taking at least one class within your major in the beginning so that you can get a feel for your program and make sure that that is what you wanna do. Sorry. All right, <laughs> there is also the opportunity to be invited to join the honors program at Plattsburgh. So our honors program has two different tracks within it. Um, and one is the ability to take your general education courses in a smaller kind of round table discussion style that's capped at about 15 students. So this is gonna be a more intimate setting for, for you um, and really foster a lot of discussion in the, court, in the classes. And the second is the opportunity to kind of do graduate level type work as an undergraduate student. So if you, in this case, you will actually write a thesis, defend it and present it before graduation as part of the program. You'll also have a lot of support available during your freshman year um, with your professors and other services on campus. So professors will often hold office hours for you to meet with them about classes, if you have any questions um, about the coursework or anything that you're doing. You'll also have an academic advisor assigned to you that will help you navigate your major or decide on a major. If you're coming in undecided, your advisor will be a good resource to help you figure out where your interests are, what your skills are, and what might be a good pathway for you to pursue. And we also have our learning center and student support services for those who may need a little additional help or guidance as well. So this is a list of um, 
a lot of our majors. It is not a full list, but this is some of the more popular majors that we have to offer here at SUNY Plattsburgh. And as you can see, we have them separated into three different schools. So our first school is going to be the School of the Arts and Sciences, um, which you can see include many of our liberal arts programs. You can find programs in the arts and humanities, um, including studio art, ceramics, a minor in art therapy. Fun fact, we are often called a museum without walls because of the extensive artwork that we have displayed in and around campus. Um, and here you can also find programs like communications, broadcasting, English, political science, psychology, criminal justice, as well as our hard sciences like biology, chemistry, biochemistry, um, biomedical sciences for those who might be interested in pursuing the pre-med track. And we are the only SUNY school to offer a four-year degree in robotics. Our second school is Education, Health, and Human Services. And here you're gonna see that we offer two different education programs. Um, and we have a five-year bachelor's to master's with our education programs. So with our adolescent education, students will come in and they will do their four-year undergraduate in their concentration area, whether that's history, English, math, science, whatever you're interested in. And then they'll do their one-year degree, uh, their master's degree in education. And with our childhood and special education program, you'll earn that bachelor's to master's in five years as well. So this is a great opportunity for students to complete both their bachelor's and their master's degree in that five-year period, save on a year of school, save some money, um, and when they graduate, be able to go into the workforce and get a job in education. If you're interested in doing something like speech pathology or audiology, our communication sciences and disorders major would cover that. Um, we also offer four-year programs in social work, nutrition, and fitness and wellness leadership. And with the fitness and wellness leadership major, that has three tracks within it for those who may be interested in pursuing something like athletic training, physical or occupational therapy, or even owning your own fitness facility. We also have a very competitive nursing program. Our nursing major is a direct entry freshman program. So students will come in as a nursing student their freshman year. It is a very popular major and we typically get around 1,000 applications a year for around 55 spots. So if you are interested in the nursing program, there is a little bit of different um, admissions requirements for that program. So please just reach out to the admissions office and one of our advisors can kind of talk to you about what that program is looking for in terms of admissions requirements. Um, and you can contact us by phone or you can send an email to admissions at plattsburgh.edu. And last, our School of Business and Economics includes 12 majors, and all of our programs are internationally accredited through the AACSB, which is the highest accreditation for business programs. Um, we're the only SUNY to offer a four-year major in entrepreneurship, and faculty are actually entrepreneurs themselves, so they're sharing their own experiences with running and starting their own businesses. And we have majors in global supply chain management and hospitality management, two very fast-growing industries. Um, and if you're not sure what you want to major in yet, that's totally fine. You can come in undecided and have the option to work with an academic advisor to find a major that fits you. Or if you come in as a major and you decide to change your mind, that's also something that we can accommodate. So many of you may be interested in getting involved in college outside of your academics, looking for things to do, looking for a college that has an active social life, a lot going on, a lot of things happening. And we definitely have that here at Plattsburgh. We have over 100 student clubs and organizations for students to choose from. And these include things like academic clubs, honor societies, Greek life, a ski club, and so much more. We also offer a lot of different events throughout the school year, including community night, where at the beginning of the school year, community members, students, and faculty kind of all gather around Hawkins Pond, and we have food trucks and music, and it's just a welcome back celebration to kind of kick off the new school year. Um, and students get emails daily about things that are happening on campus. So there's definitely a, a lot of ways to stay up to date on what's going on and what you might like to get involved in or check out that's happening. And then if you're somebody who's interested in a school, perhaps with sports and a good athletic vibe, um, school spirit, our Cardinal sports are awesome. We offer 18 different NCAA Division III sports. 
So definitely a lot of school spirit here. Our ice hockey team is pretty awesome. Um, they've been nationally ranked both men's and women's every year. And our women's hockey team actually has won the most consecutive championship titles uh, in the history of the NCAA Division III sports. So that's a really cool accomplishment. Um, those games are awesome. There's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Maybe if you're somebody who likes to really hype up the crowd, you can get involved in our Cardinal Red Zone, um, getting all decked out. You can paint your face red and just get really, get the crowd really jazzed up for the game. So it's a lot of fun to kind of go to those events and support our Cardinals. So what happens after your first year? You know, what should you anticipate your second year to look like and beyond? You've decided on a major or you think you know what you want to do and what comes next? Sometimes this may be declaring a double major or a minor in another area, or this may even be changing your major from what you had freshman year to sophomore year. Students may not know exactly what they want to do, um, but some may. And for those of you who do, this is a great time to kind of talk about what else you can be doing to help you get to your end goal. For example, if you're really interested in going on to law school, this is a good time to talk about what additional majors you could add on or minors that would really help you stand out when you go to apply to law school when you're ready to graduate. Also, you may have a hobby or an interest in something, but you don't necessarily want to major in that. For example, music. You really love music. You've been interested. You've played an instrument forever, but you know that you don't want to get your major in that. You can add on a minor in music, which still allows you the opportunity to stay involved, learn a little bit, and continue to grow in that area. And you'll definitely want to be making sure that you're touching base with your academic advisor throughout your time at Plattsburgh. So this is a good time to check in with them, try and meet with them at least once a semester, talk about where you're at, what classes you need to be taking to stay on track for that four-year graduation timeline. So I, as I mentioned, adding a minor, just a couple uh, options here of that pair up really well. Some students choose to go this route. If you're maybe coming in as a psychology major, you may wanna do a minor, uh, double major in social work. Um, if you're thinking something in business, marketing, art with graphic design works really well. Um, political science and criminal justice, those are great areas. So there's a lot of options that you can definitely be talking to your advisor about and seeing what might work and what might fit for you. One thing that I'm sure is important to many of you is what type of outside of the classroom opportunities there are within your major. Within SUNY Plattsburgh, just about every major has some type of experiential learning component. So for example, with magazine journalism, we have our own campus magazine called Due North, um, and it's actually the in-flight air magazine for Penn Air, which flies out of the local Plattsburgh airport. Um, we also have a student newspaper. Um, for those interested in communication sciences and disorders, we have a speech and hearing clinic on campus, so you can observe patients that may have speech or hearing issues. We also have a traumatic brain injury center on campus. Um, an adult daycare for those with Alzheimer's, and a Nexus program, which identifies tho those who may be on the autism spectrum. If you're interested in hacking and computer science, we also have a Center for Cybersecurity and Technology on campus and a White Hat Hacker Space, which allows you to do some ethical hacking and kind of figure out how computers and that whole space works. And what's nice about looking at a four-year college versus a large university center is that you're not competing with research opportunities. So there's a lot of opportunities for students to get hands-on research within the sciences and different areas. Um, our sciences building underwent a large renovation a couple years ago, and we brought in a lot of new technology like a DNA sequencer, an MNR machine, a CMR machine, and a $50,000 radar gun that students can actually take out onto Lake Champlain to collect data samples and bring them into the lab. So when the time comes during your college experience, you'll also have the chance to meet with an internship coordinator within your program who will help work with you to find different internship opportunities or maybe land that dream internship that you have in mind. 
if there's an internship you're interested in, you can also talk to the coordinator about that and see if that might be a good fit or something that fits and works within your program. We definitely value internships here at SUNY Plattsburgh and we want our students to get that experience and be able to put those experiences on their resume and build up their resume so that when they graduate after their four years here, they have experience and can go out into the world and land a job. And many of you may be interested in becoming a leader or continuing in leadership positions. Um, you may have had leadership positions in high school and you're looking to do continue on with that or you're thinking, you know, I want to take on more of a leadership role in college. How can I do that? There's a variety of different ways that you can become a leader on our campus. Um, you can be that person that participates in class, you know, raise your hand, answer the questions, give, you know, give feedback and and join in on the discussion. That's one way to really get involved and kind of take on a leadership role within the classroom. Um, you may have loved living on campus your first year. And so you can become a community advocate and live in the residence halls like your CA did your freshman year and help guide students through their experience living on campus. You can also get involved in student clubs and be on their e-board positions. So as I mentioned, we have over 100 student clubs and organizations. So there's a lot of things that you can get involved in and work your way into different positions like vice president or president of those, of those associations. There's so many opportunities to get involved on campus. Many students are also interested in studying abroad. And because we're part of the SUNY school, system, you actually have the luxury of utilizing more than 600 different locations throughout the SUNY system to study abroad. So this really helps you find a program that suits you and the time frame in which you're looking to study abroad. Maybe it's a full semester that you want to go abroad or a full year, or maybe you just want to do something more short term like a summer or a break. Some classes may even have a study abroad component built right into them. So this is something that you'll start talking to the study abroad office um, about when you're a student and figuring out when it's going to fit best into your schedule, talking to your academic advisor, and looking at the different options and areas that you have to explore. SUNY Plattsburgh is also only one of four SUNYs to participate in the National Student Exchange. So this allows our students to actually travel within the United States to different schools at Plattsburgh prices. So you'll actually be able to spend a semester taking classes at that school. The credits will transfer back to Plattsburgh, but it's a really cool opportunity to kind of tell people that you lived in Hawaii or California or Colorado for a semester. And as you move through your time here at SUNY Plattsburgh, the different things that you get involved in are really going to start helping you prepare for graduation and your next step. Um, our Career Development Center is an absolute great resource to help you every step of the way. You can literally walk in there with a blank sheet of paper and they can help you develop a cover letter or a resume for an interview or a job or something that you're needing it for. They'll also do mock interviews with you. Um, so in that case, you'll come in, you'll set up a time to come in with them, meet with them. You'll come dressed fully as if this is the interview you're actually going to. They'll have the interview with somebody in the office and then they will provide feedback um, and suggestions to help you so that when you go out and actually have the real internship, you feel very well prepared for it. They'll also help you with assisting, um, they'll assist you with helping to declare different majors, um, finding different career paths. So like I said, if you're coming in undecided, you can take a skills assessment test and kind of see where your strengths are and what might be good majors or career choices for you to pursue. Um, and then there's Cardinal Connect, which allows you to actually look for jobs and internship opportunities in one centralized location, not only as a student at Plattsburgh, but also as an alumni after you graduate and being able to take advantage of those opportunities even after you leave your four years with us. And then the time comes, you graduate. And doesn't it feel like those four years just flew by in about 25 minutes so far? Um, but to be honest, your four years here really will go by fast. Um, and SUNY Plattsburgh is here to make sure that we provide you with all of the resources to be successful in college and beyond. We really want to see you succeed. But it's also up to you as a student to be an advocate and use your voice here. 
So ask questions during your time here. Meet with your academic advisor. Join clubs, get involved. And if you do, you may be one of the over 90% of our students who are in graduate school or have a, a job within six months of graduation. So now I'm just gonna take some time to kind of talk a little bit about the application process, what it is we're looking for in an applicant, um, and kind of how the admissions process works here at SUNY Plattsburgh. So typically for incoming freshmen, we're looking for about an 85 high school GPA, um, and the middle 50% of our students have around a 1060 to 1180 on their SAT, and between a 21 to 25 on their ACT. We are not test optional, so we do require that you have either the SAT or ACT when you are a freshman student applying to Plattsburgh. If you're a transfer student coming in, the middle 50% typically have around a 2.6 to a 3.3 college GPA when they apply as a transfer. Also, I should mention with your SATs, we will super score. So if you have taken multiple SAT tests, we will combine your scores to give you the best overall score. Our scholarships are also automatically awarded to students who qualify when you apply to Plattsburgh. And we do have a scholarship calculator on, your web, on our website where you can go and take a look and plug in kind of your different statistics, your GPA, your test scores, and see what you might qualify for as a student. Again, some different majors do have different admissions requirements. As I mentioned, our nursing program does have a little bit different requirements. So if you have a specific question about a program, Definitely contact our admissions office at admissions at plattsburgh.edu or by phone and we can talk to you a little bit more about those programs and what they're looking for. And just some dates and deadlines to keep in mind. So we are actually rolling admissions here at SUNY Plattsburgh. Um, so we do not have a deadline to apply by. However, we do encourage students to consider the different dates listed here when they're submitting their application for opt optimal review. Um, for fall, we recommend December 1st for um, freshmen, incoming freshmen for the following fall and for transfers, March 1st. And we definitely encourage you to file your FAFSA around December 15th so that you can get that financial aid package. We are May 1st, the national deposit deadline date. So even if you apply and you find out your decision in January or February, you do have until May 1st to kind of make that decision, but it does allow you some time to maybe come to campus for a visit, check out what we have, come to an open house, meet with faculty, meet with an admissions advisor, um, and we will have a lot of different visits coming up in the springtime, and you can find all of our visits on our website, plattsburgh.edu, under the visit tab. Um, and we have a variety of different things in the spring for um, students all over. So I would also love for you all to connect with Plattsburgh and kind of stay up to date on what's happening. We have very active social media and it's a great chance to kind of see what our students life is like here, follow the hashtag Platts life, really see what we have going on on campus, get some beautiful pictures of the campus um, and all the different scenery. And it's a great opportunity just to kind of connect with us and see what we have going on. So we have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Look for the hashtag Platts Life under any of those and you can get kind of an inside look at student life. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for taking some time tonight to listen to this presentation. Um, I hope that it was very informative for you and um, that you were able to get all of your questions answered. I do see I have a couple questions here, um, so I'm just going to kind of answer what I can. Um, if I don't get to them all, I will reach out to you um, and answer your question. But somebody did ask uh, after move-in day, how many, classes, how many days until classes actually begin? You will move in right before classes begin. So typically, um, a couple days before classes begin, you will move into campus, get settled, and then classes will take off. Um, and then somebody also asked what majors are Plattsburgh known for? Um, some of our top majors include nursing, criminal justice, biomedical sciences, psychology, um, anything in the business programs, different things like that. We definitely have um, a lot of different well-known programs. So 
I just, again, want to thank you all for joining me this evening. And if you have any questions that um, maybe I didn't answer for you or you want to reach out to us, definitely give our office a call or email us. Thank you so much and have a nice day.